Hey guys, it's your girl Priscilla Ono and I'm here with my girl Tashi and we're about to show you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks for Stena Lip Paint. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm going to be applying our Stena Lip Paint in the color Unbutton. One of my favorite things to do before I use this is to shake it. I just really like to get all the pigments really mixed in together. Sometimes when they sit, the formula can separate just a little bit. So you wanna just make sure you give it a really nice shake. Then I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna wipe it off all on the back of my hand. This is just like a little trick that I actually learned from Rihanna. She actually likes to take it all off on the back of her hand and then she'll come in, pick some up, and then little by little do the lip and then anytime she needs more product, she'll dip back into the back of her hand. So if you really think about it, you will only be using a small amount at a time. If you're afraid of it getting messy and you don't want to put it on the back of your hand, all you have to do is just take it out and just kind of take some out on the side and then you can always just grab from the corners of the actual bottle. My favorite way to apply this is to start at the top of the lip first and what I do is I actually flip the wand upside down and I use that, that pointy side. This wand was actually designed to have like that nice little point to help you to actually line the lips. Then when you're gonna apply the lip color all over, you're gonna take it upside down and lay it flat on the lip and then apply all of your color right on top. And it fills in pretty quickly and gives you that smooth application. I feel like when Rihanna was creating this, she wanted something that was really highly pigmented, but very thin and wearable. You don't have to continuously apply layers and layers. You're gonna get that instant gratification of color right away. And if you're the kind of person that has feathering, I suggest grabbing a Q-tip and just kind of smudging the ends of your lip just to kind of give you almost like a blended out lip line. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little bit of a barrier. So if you're that person that gets a lot of feathering around your lips and you really want it to be intact and be in place, this is my little trick. So I just take some of the foundation. Now she's the color 240 in our Pro Filter. I just wanna take a small detailing brush and I'm gonna go around her lip line. This also helps perfect the lips and makes them look really nice and perfect and symmetrical. But above all, right now it's creating a little barrier so that your lip doesn't bleed throughout the day. So I know there's some people out there that like to do this with concealer, but I personally don't because I feel like it's a bit too light when you use your concealer and you don't want that white line around your mouth. So you actually want to use your skin tone color for this. One of the things that I hear a lot of feedback from is that the Stena Lip Paints transfer. So, here's the deal. This is actually a comfortable, soft matte finish that will last you all day long. It's not completely dry and matte, so you will get a little bit of transfer, but I'm gonna show you my trick so that you can get the least transfer possible. So I'm gonna take a little bit of our Invisimat powder and I'm just gonna be using the Touch Up brush. Then I'm gonna take a tissue and I'm gonna lay it flat on her lips. And I'm gonna press this powder on top of her lips. Make sure that you're pressing and you're not rubbing because you don't wanna manipulate the perfect application underneath. You just wanna press the powder on top. And the powder is gonna go through the tissue and gonna coat the lips in a very light but complete way and this way your lip color will last you even longer. I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks for Stunna Lip Paints. Don't forget to subscribe at Fenty Beauty.